What's up everybody? Today we're going to be showing off five 3D printed items that you can use in your kitchen. I will have all of the links to each STL down below as always, so that way you guys can go ahead and 3D print them yourselves if you would like. All of these items were printed on either the Bamboo Lab A1 or the Bamboo Lab P1S. I believe they would also all fit on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini if that's something you're using. So don't feel like you have to go out and get a bigger printer or something to print some of this stuff. It's all gonna fit on most of the printers out today. I'll also link down below each filament that I'm using so that way if you guys wanna go ahead and pick some up using my Amazon affiliate link down below where I may earn a commission, you can do that as well. And lastly, before we go ahead and get into our 3D printed items, we have our very first sponsor on the channel, PCBWay. We'll talk about them more in a little bit. So with our first item, we're going to actually have this V60 coffee filter holder. So I have been just putting the coffee filters underneath my cabinet and I've had to reach down below my cabinet, grab them out of this like giant plastic bin that I have. So now what I did is I 3D printed one that actually matched the black that I had for my coffee grinder and my kettle that I used for my pour over coffee. Now you might be able to also search for a coffee filter holder if you have like one like a standard coffee pot or if you have some sort of other coffee filter that you use for a pour over. I'm sure you can find some sort of filter uh, or something, a basket or something that you can 3D print that would also, I just thought this st stood up, fit perfectly with all of my coffee. And so that way I'm not having to reach under my kitchen cabinet every day and grab it out. It's also like a very sleek, clean design and it's easy to refill. And this is one that I'm not gonna be told by, you know, to put away. The next item we have is actually this uh, sponge holder. So I thought this was really cool because a lot of times what we find ourselves doing is sitting the sponge on our countertop after we're done using it, and then we let it dry out so we can put it underneath the kitchen counter. So of course, that's going to have all of that water kind of pool on the kitchen counter. So what I did was I 3D printed this little stand, right? It comes in two, you, you can have the water drain straight into the sink and you're not really having to worry about it. So then you can just set your sponge there and you can even make this smaller. You don't have to keep it the full size. I was actually kind of surprised how big it was, but with this sponge holder, it's big enough you can fit any sort of sponge. Maybe you even put your mommy there or your daddy, right? Your sponge mommy, your sponge daddy. You can put them there, you can let them drain out. Or if you're using like one of those Scotch-Brite pads, that's what the we were formerly getting it for, um, where we use it like with uh, some sort of chemicals or something to clean some of our dishes, that harder abrasive stuff. And we didn't really wanna sit it on the kitchen countertop and have it drain out. But now we can put it on this tray, we can have it drain out and then we can just put it underneath our sink once it's done. So we found this very useful really just for keep, keeping water off of your countertop or keeping it in a certain area wherever you want. I don't know. You could probably also find other practical items or other practical uses for this. Maybe even make it bigger and you want it to drain somewhere else or do something else with it. I thought this was a pretty cool 3D print that I would actually use or I am using. The next one is actually this portable trash can. So do you bake a lot of goods? Yeah, me neither. But if you have any sort of flour or something on the kitchen countertop, or it works a lot better with bigger items, so maybe you got food everywhere or whatever, maybe maybe it's a little messy and stuff kind of dried up, it's really easy just to scrape them off into this trash can, dump it in the trash, you can rinse it out. You don't really have to worry about it, right? So it, it just is like kind of like, easier than I think picking up your trash can. Like for me, we have the lid trash can where you have to take out the trash can and then you have to go around and hold it over the kitchen counter. I think this is something you can just put it up, you know, scrape it off and then boom, you can just dump it into the trash can. So it makes it a lot easier, I think for cleanup. Um, you know, you do have to be a little careful because it, it's not like lock tight when you put it against the kitchen countertop. So some of the flour may seep through if you're doing it with flour or something fine like that. But I, overall, I think it worked pretty good. I even used it for flour. I didn't have much get through. Um, nothing that I would actually worry about or maybe you just kind of, you know, brush it to the side. So let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay.com. So if you guys need something for your upcoming project that you don't have access to, maybe you don't have access to a resin printer, maybe you don't even have access to an FDM printer. Well, what you can do is you can go on PCBWay.com, upload what you need 3D printed and they can ship it out right to you. With that being said as well, maybe you need something CNC. Do you need a PCB board? Well, they got you covered for that as well. There's so many things that you can have done on PCBWay.com. Remember to go ahead and check them out. And by checking them out and supporting them, you are also supporting me. So I greatly appreciate it. And let's go back to the video. So this one's for all of you gym bros, gym girls. You know, do you eat the Ninja Creamies and they're just 
really cold to hold, right? So we got this Ninja Creamy Holder. It fits perfectly, you just slide it right in. You can also find this for like Ben & Jerry's. I've seen those on videos um, or any of the pint-sized ice creams. So if you're eating one of those or eating out of those, it can get really cold just to hold that for a really long time or it gets really wet. So this holder also holds a spoon. Um, you can just slide it right in there. It has a little handle. It's nice and easy to eat up. Um, this is the Silk PLA by Landu. They did send it to me for free. So if you guys are interested in that, please go ahead and check the link down below. But I thought this was a really cool 3D print and we have Ninja Creamies all the time when we're going through our health phases. And it's, you know, if you don't have a Ninja Creamy, you are sleeping. It's the perfect way to make healthy ice cream, you know, protein ice cream. And you know, it's really good actually. If you get some good Ninja Creamy recipe guys, go ahead and check those out. You'll be thoroughly, thoroughly, thor thoroughly surprised on how good they can taste. So the next thing we actually have is a solo drying rack for a cup or a stainless steel, like sort of travel mug or whatever it may be, right? Those things that you can't put in the dishwasher or you would prefer not to put in the dishwasher. And you have to kind of sit them on their side, right? Or if you put them upright, no air can get under there. So it doesn't really ever dry. It just kind of, you get condensation there. Well, what you can do is you can print these out. I've actually started using them. I need to print more of them. We have two and we've used them pretty much every day since I've printed them. It allows you to have the air get underneath it. It drains out into just like a little solo dish. And you know what? Perfect. Your dishes are actually going to dry over time. This one's actually been an extremely popular one that was trending on Maker World as well. A really good 3D print. If you need something to hand wash, you need to be able to dry it. Uh, again, we're probably gonna have like four or five of these. So that way we can use them. And this is definitely one that I've used every single day. In the last one of the five we have here today is actually a napkin holder. So I've 3D printed this first one and it wasn't anywhere near the correct size to hold my napkins that I had. It was way too small. So I was like, eh, this one just looks okay. I didn't think the overhangs printed perfectly good the way I would like them. So what I did was I went ahead and printed another one that's just kind of this classical stand up version. You know, I don't think it looks necessarily the best, but it does give you an idea of what you can 3D print, right? Napkin holders, they have a lot that hold like salt and pepper on the sides. You know, there's a lot of different versions and I think you can make some really clean ones that would actually be okay on your kitchen table, right? I don't think anyone would look at them and say, oh, that's 3D printed, you know? Or if they do, you could say, hey, I 3D printed that, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, you know, I think uh, napkin holders is a really good idea, right? And you know, it's, it's something easy, quick and cheap to do. They also have a lot of cool designs and a lot to pick from. So it was really hard for me to pick, um, but overall I'll probably end up printing another one and see how it turns out. But overall too, this one is pretty good. So the next thing I actually attempted, so we're going into kind of like my fail at this point, right? I did not think this through. So when it comes to 12 packs of, you know, Pepsi, Coke, whatever you have, your soda cans going into the fridge, I thought it'd be cool to get one of those dispenser rolls. And apparently, you know, I don't know, it, it's, at this point, apparently I figured out it's way easier just to rip the front of the cardboard off, but you have those weird like 15 packs now that Pepsi gives you. So it's kind of hard to like make room. It, it, Pepsi, you need to figure out what, like, why are we so different? than all of the other brands, right? I, I get it, it's a way to sell more of your soda, but come on, I need it to fit. So I actually had complete fails when trying to put this thing together. I printed this like four or five times. I can never get it to like actually fit straight. And I mean, four or five times, I printed it parts a couple times, each part. Um, I think there was one part I printed two or three times and it just was never coming out good. Probably should have went with a different model. Uh, but overall then I started realizing, is this thing really worth it when I can just rip off the front of, you know, the 12 pack? I, I guess not. So if you're thinking about printing this, I mean, like, think about it logically, I guess. Like the 12 pack, it's already there. I was just thinking, I have to reach my hand all the way in there. So, you know, maybe I'm convincing myself now to reprint this. What do you guys think? Should I, should I do that? Oh, that is all we have here for you guys today. If you guys watched the video all the way through, I greatly appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment down below what you guys would like to see next and what kind of videos you would like to see. I plan on doing more themed videos. I want to do an organization video with my whole desk because this thing is a mess. We'll do like a before and after. So outside of that, guys, remember to have a good day. I appreciate you and thanks for watching.